What's up guys, Guru here and welcome back to another 129 draft challenge. We are still continuing on with this. Hopefully today we are actually going to get this complete because I just want to see that 130 draft challenge sometime soon. Who knows how it's going to go. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's get into draft attempt number one. And so into the first draft we go. Now in terms of formations, we're going to take the 3-4-1-2, not the best set of formations today however we are starting with 95 and nedved which is a very good start for us along with 96 forlan okay the basis is going well along with the 94 hernandez okay this is this is good this is like the minimum sort of level that you need per card which i think is very very good to get i'm gonna take keen here just because rodri has got much better cards in case they pop it would obviously be much more usable. One rating shouldn't really make too much of a difference by the end of things. Again, probably shouldn't have took Foden there for that reason, but hey-ho, it is what it is. I'm going to take this Vieira. It's not often you see the 97 Vieira, so maybe it's the best decision. Although we will absolutely take 97 Doku. Seems to be popping a lot for me recently, which again, is very good to see. We'll obviously take a Premier League player in Dawson there. Although he should be absolutely nowhere near the team by the end of things along with the other German centre back who I'm not even gonna try and pronounce her name, I've got to be honest with you. We will take obviously the foot fantasy future stars, whatever that promo was in the Maldini. Obviously we can still get his other card as well because you can get both of them. And then we will take Kafu. Sadly obviously Doku doesn't have the strike role, it's only centre forward, so he will be staying in that right mid role. As much as Grimaldo can play left mid, it doesn't really make any sense to take him. We'll take Cancelo because we can obviously get the 97 Grimaldo. That would be a very good card to get if we can. And we'll obviously put Van Basten in instead of Foden. And that is not looking too bad so far. We can also put in Schneider instead of Keane. No, we do lose one chemistry. Um, I have no idea how we lose chemistry, but hey-ho, we do. We will take 91 Benzema, again, not his footies card, which would be absolutely perfect, but hey-ho, it is what it is. The bench is not looking too bad, although we do need two centre-backs, which is a real issue. We will absolutely take 98 or 9, there is no questions asked. I think we're going to be slightly close to it, but the thing that lets us down the most is actually going to be the centre-backs, isn't it? That is going to be really frustrating. We'll take Viali there, again, doesn't really matter who we take, we can obviously swap a few things around there as well for us. Our goalkeeper is going to be an 89 Donnarumma, so it means Moreno can go on to the bench. The actual bench and reserves are looking good. It purely is that goalkeeper spot where, oh sorry, not goalkeeper, the centre-back spots where if we don't get anything now, obviously Mateus is one card that we can add in. We are going to struggle. The only card missing chemistry is Sommer, which was Serie A or Switzerland manager would do that for us. Can we get another centre-back EA? We can't. We are going to get Salah, though, and it is a 92 rated instead of a 90 rated card, which is nice. It doesn't even go to a 127. That is super icon heavy as well. Uh, sadly, we're not doing the icon themed draft in this one, but a lot of icons in there. We do not get the chemistry either because we get no Serie A manager, which is kind of annoying. So, our first attempt is a 125. Now we're near the 129, so let's try again. And then into draft number two, we go. Hopefully, these formations are going to be better for us, although they aren't looking that promising. We're going to go with the 4 4 1 1 attack. That center forward role can be very important to us. I'm going to take 90 Hadji because it's the best option there. Uh, there is really no other way around it. Somerville. Going into the team, obviously confirmed to be going to West Ham now. As you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, but Gormo, that was like, I don't know, a week ago maybe? It, well, that would be correct. However, right now for me, it has only just happened. And you may be thinking, well, why are you so far back? Well, I'm currently in Florida right now. If you haven't seen via my Twitter or you haven't heard from any of my other videos, I am out in Orlando having a nice holiday so that is why videos are looking a little bit different on the channel and why we are super focused on draft because we thankfully can pre-record these I mean we're still going for the 129 I don't even know how long it's going to take I could come back off holiday and we're still going for the 129 it just depends on what EA releases so hopefully good things come over the next few weeks to allow that to come and then possibly even the 130 draft who knows if that is going to be possible a decent start already Schmeichel Vieira in there as well Rio Ferdinand's not too bad apart from that though 
we're looking at some big improvements in to the team we will obviously take 95 allison for the bench that is very nice for us we will definitely take hmm machado or nishwanga because we've got the icons nishwanga is absolutely fine again annoying that this card can never play as a left mid but hey ho it is what it is we will take Lizarazu, although he won't go into the team. Um, we can always use him if we need to for chemistry. I highly doubt it, but we should be all right. Stanway is our next card who can go in at centre mid. It doesn't lose us any chemistry. Obviously, the English links from Rio Ferdinand as well, so that is very nice. And we will absolutely take 98 Lacelso. Cannot play as a centre forward, but can play as a striker. So what it does mean is he'll go into the striker role for now. And then if we do get a good striker... Most strikers have the centre forward as an option, so we can always use that if we need to. Vinicius Jr. will actually go into that left mid role on full chemistry as well, which is fantastic. The bench is starting to look a lot stronger. The team is starting to look a lot better. I think we need a new right back, a new centre back, probably new wingers in all honesty, and a new striker of some sort if we want to get close to a 129. Obviously, we've had a lot of 128 in recent days, and even though they've been good. It's not been the best. We will obviously take Frankowski because he will go in instead of Carlos Alberto. What we can do is take out Anton to make sure that we do get full chem. Obviously, Carlos Alberto ensuring Vinicius Jr. is on full chem. So, do need to be conscious of that. 91 Saka, not quite as 98. It would be a perfect card to get in this draft. But, hey-ho, it is what it is. We will take 97 Hansen, though, instead. We lose one chemistry because of the nation links. So it is a Norwegian and an Italian manager needed, although we will also take Salah. Probably would work because of Premier League links. No, we don't even have a Premier League player apart from La Celso, so that doesn't really matter too much for us. Uh, but the bench is looking super high rated, 94 rated so far. Can we get anything else in these next few picks? The final pick is going to give us... I mean, Hernandez isn't bad. He is an improvement on Vinicius Jr., which is kind of crazy to think. And also Vinicius Jr. an improvement on Hadji. We got really unlucky with strikers. We literally got well one striker as an option, one centre forward as an option, and then obviously Lacelso in there as well, who could play as a striker. So EA not really paying out in that regard for us, meaning we are super low rated. With the chemistry, it is not really gonna matter who we actually use because, well, we're staying on the same rating for now. So we just need an Italian manager, and we are pretty much sorted for chemistry. Are we going to get it? No, we don't. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there is only other way to get chemistry is to obviously put Willian into the team. So we can get full chemistry on this draft, which would take it to a one 2 7 It's much better than the first attempt, but nowhere near where we need to be. We need to see lots of these rated cards that we've got in our top three players in the next one. So let's get into that third and final attempt. So into the third and a final attempt we go. We did a plus two from draft one to draft two. So can we go from a one to seven to a one to nine is the question. We're going to take the full one, two, one, two narrow. This for me is one of my favorite formations right now because of the fact that it usually does pay out pretty nicely. We're going to take Kearney onto the bench to start off with. I don't want a 91 Kaka in the team. Willian possibly could have gone into left back as well. So we definitely don't want him. And we're starting with Mia Ham and Shula. Two very nice cards we don't mind seeing at all. Small sticks, obviously Kaka would have ended up being better, but hey-ho, it is what it is. We will take 96 Kevin De Bruyne. Not quite as 98 that we've seen before in drafts, but it is still very good to see. Patrick Guerrero is probably going to have to do for us for now. Not a lot of chemistry in this team, I can't lie, and not a lot of hope for now, but... We will see how things go. Kukurea is very good. Obviously, does have the centre-back role if we do need to use him. Although, with a 96 Maldini and... Okay, maybe not. Well, Vasco is 95 rated. We kind of don't need to use him, actually, uh, which is kind of a good thing. We go to Zambrotta in at right-back, which is very nice. Again, if we needed him at left-back, we can do that. If we need chemistry, I guess we could swap things around. Or we get a super high rated card, but to be honest with you, it would just be a case of Zambrotta coming out of the team. And then we will go ahead with the Italian in goal or the German in goal. It doesn't really matter who we take uh, because hopefully both of them will be out of the team by the end of the draft. The first defender on the bench is not great. Denzel Dumfries is going to be the person we take. We will also take Machado in there as well. Sadly... This Vasquez doesn't have a right-back role, which would have meant that we could obviously move players along. We've got three left-backs, three centre-backs. Well, actually, we've got four left-backs across the back line, uh, plus one on the bench. 
to left back City FC. Um, not ideal, but hey ho, we could use Ginola in at that camp. We will take him. Obviously, he only has a 92 rated goal as well, anyway. So, two ratings shouldn't make too much of a difference, but I don't even think it's going to make a difference in general because this team is not paying out too well at all. We will take Trossard. He can swap around into that cam role as well, which is absolutely perfect. I was going to say he can go there. I mean, Ham can go cam, but Trossard also has that, which is great. Santos does have centre mid, so she can go into the team if we need to. Uh, don't really want to put her in right now, though, because chemistry would absolutely fall apart. And we've got a 97 frame punk who will go in instead of that Zambrotta. We do lose three chemistry on the team for now. We don't really have any icons in this team. So maybe 97 Schmeichel here, yay. It's not quite. It's 92 Yashin. It is an improvement, though, and it will help us out that little bit more for chemistry. Um, yeah, not the worst thing for us to have. We will obviously take Roberto Firmino. It's more likely for Di Maria to pop. Although, in this recent sort of set of players, I haven't really seen Di Maria too much, which is very interesting to see. But we're going to finish with Carlos Alberto, which is not really a card you want to see. Does it take us to 1-2-4? It does not even take us to a one 2 4 um, If we did want to sort of add in the best players into the team, well, that would be the team. Um, so that would not be ideal whatsoever. We don't really get anywhere near the chemistry with this one. It is kind of crazy how this can happen sometimes, where you just get absolutely nowhere near what you need. You can put Carlos Alberto in. We are missing chemistry on Shula and Santos. Neither of them would work in terms of we need a Colombian and German manager, which is obviously physically impossible. So that is going to absolutely fall apart. We don't even get either of the two nations that we would need to gain the chemistry. It was only a 94 rated draft anyway, so it would have only been a 127, but we finish on a 125. Some very poor attempts today. Let me know down below what you guys are getting in your drafts and what's the best rating you've had so far. For now, that's where we're going to leave it for now. I'm out. Peace.